is network engineering all about wireless now? Everyone thinks network engineering is all about Wi-Fi, it's all about wireless Ethernet today, but that's not the full story. You see, back in the 90s, 2000s, and even the first half of 2010s, wired endpoint connectivity is still common. But now, who among you still use wired desktop or wired laptop? Okay, maybe some of you, like myself, uses gaming desktop, gaming rig like this baby. But for sure, you still have your laptop for mobility, flexibility, and other purposes. So yes, that's what we're gonna talk about. Network engineering, is it all about wireless now? And as usual, comment below and shout out your location. Like nice video Dean from Malaysia, Cuba, Latvia. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city. Like from Guadalajara, Jakarta, Dubai, etc. And also don't forget to like and follow our social media pages. If you are into networking or network engineering, well, regardless if you are working in the IT industry, most people would think, oh, you are a network engineer. You are probably working with wireless, aka Wi-Fi networks. And we know the answer. Not always, of course. But if you think about it, most people connect to the network using their laptops, using their tablets, using their mobile devices, again, via wireless. So who design and maintain those wireless networks? Network guys, for sure. From network technician, network specialists, network engineers, and even network architects. And obviously, it depends on the scale of the networks. Now, to answer this question, wireless networks is just a subset of the entire network architecture. And this only exists in campus networks, aka enterprise networks. Do you see wireless or Wi-Fi in data center networks? No. Do you see wireless in service provider networks? No. Do you see Wi-Fi in cloud networks? Impossible. Let's explain further why network engineering is not all about wireless. Let's focus on campus networks, aka enterprise networks. And as a network engineer, you will probably work with many devices. So we have first switches, second routers, next generation firewalls, and the fourth is wireless devices. And when you are managing mid or large scale wireless network enterprise, you will probably gonna work with NAC or network access control. Yes, you're gonna work with NAC as well. So the wireless part is just roughly 20%. And you don't just maintain wireless devices such as wireless controllers and access points. You see, those SSIDs are associated to a VLAN. Those SSIDs are also associated to radius and NAC policies. This setup enables consistent access control across switches, wireless, and NAC. This may also integrate with network management platform and next generation firewalls for centralized security enforcement. Let's talk about learning and certifications. CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate is an example. It teaches you the basic of network concepts from IP addressing, VLAN switching, routing, and even network security related topics like firewalls, AAA, and VPNs. They also teach you wireless technologies. However, it's not the focus of CCNA. And it's not just CCNA. Most associate level network certifications doesn't teach you much wireless technologies. Here are other network associate level certifications. We have Arista Ace Associate, JNCIA Junos, CompTIA Network Plus. Okay, from those mentioned certification exams, wireless topics are quite minimal. I would say, or I would estimate 10% coverage in CCNA and Network Plus. For JNCIA Junos and uh, Arista Ace Associate, probably one or 2%. Here is the reason. You need to learn the basic of networking first, like VLANs, IP addressing, DHCP, 802.1Q, radios, 802.1X, ACL. So all of these network fundamentals you need to learn it first before wireless technologies, before Wi-Fi. 
And it's also impossible, or should we say it's quite difficult to add real-world wireless radio frequency in a simulated lab environment. And yes, most associate level exams leverage as virtual or containerized lab environment. So in short, wireless rides on top of wired networking. So if you don't understand wired technologies such as VLANs, routing, and security, you won't truly understand wireless Ethernet technologies. Wireless is just one piece of the puzzle. Yes, we design Wi-Fi, optimized coverage, and secure access point. But network engineers also build the backbone. Switches, routers, firewalls, and even cloud networks. Yes, all of those stuff wireless depends on. Don't ever think an access point can stand on its own. It must connect to switches. Period. Wireless Ethernet sits in layer 1 and layer 2 of the OSI model, meaning it doesn't do routing. It's dependent to layer 3 devices such as routers and firewalls. Okay, so back to wireless technology learning and certifications. You see, we used to have CCNA wireless specialization. Yeah, but back in 2020, Cisco retired most CCNA tracks. CCNA security, retired. CCNA data center, retired. CCNA service provider, retired. CCNA collaboration, retired. And yes, CCNA wireless also retired. CCNA routing and switching has been renamed to just CCNA. And you know what else did they retire? CCNP wireless. But here is the good news. On March 2026, they will unretire CCNP wireless. So why is Cisco doing this? I don't know. Probably because wireless technologies are evolving rapidly, even faster than wired technologies. We will talk about this in the next video.